G'day, Big V. Welcome to our seniors podcast here, Championship Men. Now, there are two rounds left, round 17 this week, and then round 18 to close it out before we see a top five finals. Ten in this division, top five finals. So we see uh, the first place get the week off. Two and three have a second chance with then four and five being elimination. Now, we're going to dissect the ladder here uh, with Mark to my right, the absolute expert in championship men. We have Wyndham currently on top of the table, 18 games played, 14 and 4 record. Yeah, they're just coming off a good win against um, second place Hume. And I tell you what, it's you look at the you look at the ladder there, and Wyndham, Hume, and Sunbury pretty much have the top three spots, I imagine, based on the fixtures um, remaining. I think they'll be the top three. Mm. Um Sunbury a little bit, uh, I mean, they're missing Trevon Clayton at the moment. Hume is missing Christopher Carver at the moment. I think Wyndham's got a full full strength team, so it'll be certainly interesting on their run home. With Wyndham playing Camwell this week, you'd think you'd chalk that up as a Wyndham win. You would think so. Camwell coming off the bye week, so whether they're actually ready to come and perform immediately or not. Yeah, and then um, they, f- they finish the season then with a, a double header against Western Port, which you'd probably chalk up, and then... Melbourne University, which they've had actually some troubles with this year, Ted. So that'll be interesting how that game goes. Yeah, absolutely. Hume then in second place with 19 games. Uh, They've got two singles on their way out this week coming. Uh, They have Keysborough, who are just behind them. Uh, They've locked themselves in finals uh, to then have uh, Western Port on uh, the Sunday the following week. So... You know, Troy Smith has been dominant uh, before and after his injury. Yeah. I believe he missed a few games, not awfully, not a whole no, lot. No, he came but... back pretty quick. Came back pretty quick in what yeah. could have been a much worse injury, but he's been great. Yeah, absolutely. And then, you know, they're tired. They are tired for first. So can they squeeze through? Yeah, it'll be it'll be interesting. I think you could almost sit there and anticipate Wyndham, if we're just going based on ladder position, we'll probably have two wins left. So I could see Wyndham... Um, Wyndham locking up that first position. I reckon Hume um, have their work cut out for them. I mean, it's not going to be an easy to play against Keysborough this week um, by any stretch. And Keysborough are looking to push push those top teams as well. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Sunbury then, you know, falling just behind them as well. Also tied for first position. And, you know, if Sanders can put on an absolute amazing performance when he wants to, Max Barkley can have, uh, you know, nights where he just shoots the lights out. Blackshear can keep everyone off the glass, so they can definitely do it as well. And they've got Blackburn this weekend, who uh, uh, Bell and then Bellarine, sorry, uh, the week after. So yeah, so if if you were looking at this, look at this from an outsider, you'd probably think they're going to chalk that up based on uh, based on the results across the year. They chalk those as two wins, which is amplifying that pressure on Human Windham to make sure those 50-50 games are um, they get them over the line. Yeah, absolutely. I think it'll be very interesting to see how all of these goes. We'll have to do some work in our off hours to find out some some heads heads here as to, to how <laughs> it goes. And, and you know, there's be very very interesting matchups as we've seen all year. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a close run home. And then you look at Keysborough, who who look to solidify that sort of fourth position. They've got um, Hume this week, which will be an important game if they want to keep that potential of third position alive uh, before they then face Blackburn, which they. In their minds, they chalk that one up as a bit of a win. So, um, you know, you'd think they're not going to finish any lower than fourth, I'd imagine. Mm. Um, then the battle for fifth. This is where it gets really interesting. Ted, Melbourne Uni and, and McKinnon are both sitting 11 and 8 for the season. And we look at their run home. Melbourne Uni have Bellarine and then Wyndham. So not the easiest run by any stretch. And then McKinnon uh, facing uh, Bellarine. Bellarine have a tough weekend, don't they? Um, Bellarine, are fa- uh, sorry, and then McKinnon are facing Campbell the following week. So, hmm, if you were a, uh, if you were looking at that uh, from an outsider looking in, you'd probably chalk up the win against um, Campbell and against Bellarine. So McKinnon looked to be like that probably in the box seat. Yeah, potentially. I mean, you you would think so after you know coming against those two teams. You got Sharif Black uh, back in the lineup now. I believe he played you know plus thirty minutes uh, over the weekend, and then had you know, I think it was thirty five or thirty six points or, or whatever it was. So he's definitely back to full strength and 
And he's definitely that kind of guy who can just be like, you know what, give me the ball and, and I'll put us in finals. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, realistically, you look at the season results across across the year, Campbell, Blackburn, Western Port um, and Bellarine haven't really caused many upsets as such. Um, they've more so got their wins against each other. Yes. So um, it's certainly certainly going to be interesting, but uh, the teams will be ramped up for a strong finish to the year, Ted. Absolutely. Look, that'll be all for us today. Keep it locked with Big V, just two more weeks of championship, man. See you soon.